Hi, my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be taking you with me into one of my favorite antique shops and hunting for vintage Halloween decor. I hope that I find something good in there. Either way, just looking at it and walking around and all the spooky vibes of the decorations <laughs> that's going to be all over in there is just going to be so much fun. I love it. It's my happy place. So let's go have a relaxing little morning looking around the antique shop and wish me luck on finding good stuff. If I find anything that I buy, I will definitely share it with you guys at the end. And also look how cute this sweater is. Oh my goodness. I thought it was like very appropriate for this like spooky season of course and it looks vintage so I had to wear this one today. If you want to know where like all of my Halloween sweaters are if you've been watching my videos I'm going to be having a try on like really really soon with a whole bunch of Halloween outfits and sweaters and different shirts and stuff like that so if you want to see that one make sure you're subscribed so you can uh, see all of the fun outfits and where I got them and stuff but this one's from Shein just a heads up if you want to know that.
just scared me because that deer's head was moving and I was not expecting that. that was so much fun I know not everything that I shared on here was vintage but there was just some other cute stuff and fun stuff and things that weren't technically Halloween whatever anyways I did get a little haul and I'm gonna warn you there's a lot of glitter <laughs> also it's raining outside and look at the trees it's up now I have to go grocery shopping and then I will be headed back home and share with you guys what I got a little haul. All right, so I'm back home. I wanted to share with you guys what I got. I'm so bummed I didn't actually get any vintage Halloween for myself. I'm really sad about it because there was so many things. I do this every time. I get like overwhelmed looking at like how much stuff there is. And then also a lot of the prices, as you probably saw, were really expensive, like $100, $80 like per like blow mold and things like that. The things that I almost got um, I really, really wanted, but it was still like 25 bucks. I believe they're called the melted popcorn. <laughs> they're like the plastic um, window hangs, at least when we were kids, we used to have them hanging in our window and I loved them so much. We for sure had Christmas ones and I would love to get those same Christmas ones again, but they had the Halloween one and I wanted it so bad, but still like, I don't know, 25 bucks. And then the other ones that I was very, very tempted by were the colorful cardboard cutouts. So some of them had like the little um, accordion paper ball or whatever half ball that came out of them and they were so cute. And the other ones were just like plain cardboard and they were only like, I don't know, some of them were five, some of them were eight bucks. I might go back for those, I'm not sure. I would really, really love to start a little collection of vintage Halloween stuff. For now, I'm gonna show you what I do have. I don't even know if this is vintage, but this is something that I had from my childhood and it's just this old bowl. I think we used to keep like candies in it. It's dirty. Um, it still has a tag on it actually. So I don't really know how old this is. All I know is that it's from my childhood. So it's sort of old. Um, and then my favorite oldest Halloween thing that I have is this old toy noisemaker and sadly it doesn't even work anymore. The little metal piece that's inside is broken off but I'm pretty sure that this was my dad's when he was little and we just always played with it and you're supposed to spin it like that and you can hear the little metal pieces in there but this is just like the coolest thing ever and I am going to cherish this even though it's broken forever and I just use it as like part of my decor every year so these are the oldest things I have but today I did get some Halloween decorations, they're just not vintage. They're just really, really cheap stuff that I'm gonna add to like my other decor in my house. And then I got a few other little vintage dishes or pieces to go with. So they're basically gonna be used for Halloween and fall stuff as well. So first of all, if you guys have been around on my channel for a while, you've been hearing me blabble on, babble on, whatever I'm trying to say about my vampire dishes, which is what I'm calling them. And I found, if you saw, oh my gosh, the whole massive set, but I still got mine for a better deal on eBay and at the thrift store, so I'm still really happy that I got the ones that I did. But I found some more pieces that I did not have yet that I actually really wanted, and this one can be used as a bowl or a candelabra, and you can put like the big thick candles in here. So I got two of these, and then I got two of these small bowls, and I almost got six of them so I could put one on each of the plates that I have because I have this like whole set um, but I decided just to get two for now and use them for like whatever kind of candy I'm going to be putting in them like in the tablescape and then they also had two different kinds of cups that I didn't have and there was like little like it looked like more of like a whiskey or a wine glass like a thicker small one and then they had like a bigger one too so I didn't get any of those because I already have so many glasses I'm like how many glasses do I need on a tablescape? Probably not four glasses per person. <laughs> oh, and another one was, I, I don't know if that one was supposed to be a, a glass, but they were calling it like an ice cream dish, which was so cute. And I'm actually going to do some kind of vampy ice cream, I'm pretty sure, for our little family party. That video is coming soon. But um, that would have been a really cute idea too, just to have like them as ice cream dishes. So I'm going to like take inventory and see what I have and how much things would cost before I go back and like get anything else, or this might just be enough. 
as it is anyways. If you guys know me, you know that I'm obsessed with amber glass. So I just added this little amber glass vase, vase, whatever, to my collection. I just think it's so cute and adorable. I love the shape of it and the color. I like usually gravitate towards like the darker colored amber glass or more like even brown sometimes, but I think it's good to have a variety of different colors of it and that this will look so cute because I'm also going to be doing a tablescape with all the browns and golds colors of glasses and I thought this would be adorable with like maybe a little sunflower or something in there. And then I got this. I know these two things aren't Halloween, but I had to share them anyways because, oh my gosh, somebody had this from my childhood. I don't know if it was one of my grandparents or if it was maybe our childhood cabin that our family would go to. Somebody had these and I saw this and it was just like one of those things where you're like, that's from my childhood. I didn't know. I loved this, needed this. I had no memory of this until I saw it. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, like I remember this. So if my family's watching, tell me where this cup came from. Who had these? But I got two of them. That's all they had. But they're just the cutest, most like 70s hippie nature cups ever. And I'm just so happy that I found these. I love them so, so much. All right. The next thing, I don't know, maybe this is vintage because look at the size of this candle. So if you guys watched my last vintage haul video, I got this little metal candle. Actually, it's right here. This one. And this is totally like, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe these ones actually even need smaller candles. But I'm just like, where do you find tiny candles like this? And then I saw this and it's so sparkly. And if you guys know me, you know I love glitter, which is probably why my channel has the name glitter in it. But it's so cute and it's got a cute face. And oh my gosh, it's hugging the candle and I just adore it. I would never light it. I just love it anyways. So, so this might be vintage. I don't know if you guys know how old this is. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, these things are not vintage, but I thought this would be so awesome for my vampire tablescape because their eyes glow red. The last time that I saw some of these, their eyes were like blinking multicolors, and I was like, that is not Halloween. They need to have like spooky colored eyes or at least orange or purple or red or something. And then I just got this bat because a lot of times I hang different kinds of swag and lights. I don't know, swag, whatever you call it. But I like to put this at like the top of a doorway and have things hanging down from it. And so I know I'll get lots of use of this. And of course, it's glittery. Then I got these. These are probably originally from, oh, it says Kohl's. I was going to guess Target, so I'm not that far off. But they're all glittery. And oh my gosh, they're just so cute, especially the candy corns. I've never seen anything like this before. And as you can see behind me, I just like to use these type of things for all different areas of my house just to add to my decor and add a little little bits of sparkle and spooky and cuteness to it so I was really excited to find these I actually had two of these and they're only four something so I was like that's a pretty good deal for nine like ornaments or whatever and they say like they, they don't have like a hanger ornament but you could totally put these on like a Halloween tree which I don't have but maybe I might need to get one someday all right, and the last thing that I got is vintage, and it's actually for my husband, and it's an old cribbage. I think it also has other games in it as well, um, but he's obsessed with cribbage, and his birthday is coming up very soon, and uh, he's turning 40, and then I'll be turning 40 next spring, so I don't know. Anyways, I have got him a different cribbage board in the past, but I just wanted to show you guys, like this is how it opens up. And inside, there is these really cute little dice. And of course, like the cribbage pegs. And then look at these cards that come with it. <gasps> Don't look, just kidding. But they're really like <laughs> vintage. Then on the other side here, it has like poker chips or whatever. I don't know. I've never seen anyone use chips for cribbage before but my husband always plays cribbage with his friends and they don't like bet money or anything they just play for fun so anyways I don't know I just thought this was a really cute little set for him for his birthday present and I tried to find some like cool bar signs or neon lights um, in the vintage shop as well because we have a pub shed if you guys are new here you wouldn't have probably seen that yet and we're working on it. We just got electricity back there and it's so exciting. We just turned on like the lights for the first time 
last weekend and we were able to turn on some of our bar signs and it looked so cool back there. So we're going to probably be collecting some more of those, but maybe I'll let him pick some of those out for his birthday. So they're ones he really, really likes. But anyways, I'm going to stop jabbering. I hope that you guys liked this video. What was your favorite thing that I picked up today? No. What was your favorite thing that you wish that you could buy that I showed you from the antique shop? Like one of the little molds or like, oh my gosh, there's so many cool things. What thing would you have got if you were there today? I don't know. I wanted it all. So anyways, I hope that you had fun with me shopping at the antique shops. Let me know if you want me to do a video like this for Christmas because I would totally love to go Christmas hunting uh, later on into the winter. And I hope that you guys are having a very good spooky season and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!